Well, Fred could have got booked there. He's got to be a bit careful. He could have got a book. Oh, he's booked him! He's bloody booked him! You bold cretin! Shut up! How can you book him and not book holding? I don't believe it! I do not believe it! He has booked Willian. Sorry, he's booked Fred. And yet holding takes Rashford out five minutes ago and doesn't get a yellow card. What a joke! What a bloody joke! Mike Dean, you bloody prat! You don't even know the game you're bloody refereeing, you dick. Oh, my God. The inconsistency strikes again. Penalty. Pogba's given another penalty here. Fucking idiot. Absolute idiot. What is he doing in the box? This is a bloody shambles. An absolute shambles. It's a horror show. An absolute horror show. In fact, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have been surprised if this lot had come trick-or-treating with me last night. Bloody joke. What is... This is two penalties Pogba's given away now. What is he doing in the box? Why are you even making that tackle? It's a blatant penalty. What is he doing? What is Paul Pogba doing? That's twice. Twice. Jesus Christ. Where's the discipline in this team? Bollocks. Absolute shit. I can't believe... How stupid that tackle is. Aubameyang won't miss this. And he doesn't. And it's 1-0 Arsenal. And it's only what they deserve. They've been the better side. Look at him dancing as well. Tosser. Piss off. Absolute shit. Absolute joke. Only what we deserve. Only what we deserve. I cannot make it any clearer than that. That Arsenal deserve this. But I am disgusted by Manchester United. Absolutely disgusting performance. Oh my God. How is he not sending him off? How is that not a red card? He's on a yellow card. How is he not sending him off? Oh my God. How is that not a second yellow? He's took fucking Bruno off now. Oh my God. What is he doing? Who is this manager? What is his bloody job? What is it? McTominay fucking survives again. What is it? Bloody hell. Get McTominay on COVID bloody pandemic cure. Because I tell you what, he'll survive anything. What is he doing? Oh, for God's sake, man. What is he doing? Fair play. Arsenal deserve to win this game. But he is shit. And he's, he's playing 90 minutes. You're taking Bruno Fernandes off with 15 minutes to go. You don't even know what you have got, Oli. You do not know what you're doing. Uh, also going to talk about transfers. Sancho looking like a bid's going to go in as early as, as Tuesday. Um, this is what we're hearing just before we came live. Um, 90%, 90%. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to look a right prat now. Don't, don't, don't worry. I won't forget. You and KG, oh, I don't know why, I don't know why, we're naught percent don't know what you're on about. Well, you're all going to be 90% now, the 90%. sevens. Yeah, well, you're going to benefit from my bravery. There you go. I'm like that bloody, I'm like, I'm like Frodo Baggins in The Hobbit. I'm, I'm just putting myself on the line for this channel. Get involved with the channel. Sevilla, Cross, Williams has lost his man. It's 1-1. One, one. Bloody hell. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. That's a cross from the left-hand side and it's Williams again. Bloody hell. Moving position more times than a porn star with a bad knee. That's bloody ridiculous. You're the bloody left-back. You're the left-back. Mark the bloody man. That's bloody... Oh, I'm so frustrated by that. Bloody jokes. It's such a crap goal to let in. It's such a crap goal and it, and it annoys me because it's... It's a cross that's along the ground across the whole back four. We should get a bloody flake with this. Ice cream defending, melting against this Spanish Sevillan side. Lindelof. Wambasaka's lost his man. Look at him, they're all over the place. Maguire and bloody Williams. What are you doing? That's such a crap goal. Mark your players. That's that's dodgy defence in that. That's terrible defence, that is. That's a joke, that is. Then, But then again, what have we got? Luke Shaw gets injured. You're playing a 19-year-old right-footed person at left-back. 
you know, he's, it's been a problem for the last few weeks. Mate, I don't know who this Sevilla manager is, but have a, you know, eye on your top. You look like a bloody, I don't know what you look like. You look like you're trying to sell a bloody tickets for drinks outside a bloody pub. Gobbing off about Harry Maguire. Get a haircut as well. Rashford, move the bloody ball. What are you doing? Take him off the pitch. Take him off the pitch. He's doing little flicks when he should be passing the bloody ball. Bruno looks to the touchline and I think he's looking as if to say he needs to come off. That is, an, I mean, Rashford there, just play the bloody ball and he's doing little bloody pirouettes. Get out! Get out! You bloody idiots! Bloody idiots again! I can't believe this! You're bloody joking! You're bloody joking! You're having a bloody laugh! I told you this is a bloody disgrace! Ten minutes to go! Oh, fuck off! I just get it! What's going on here? The left-hand side again! It's the bloody left-hand side! It's the Maguire and Williams show again! Stop him getting the crossing, you prat! You bloody prat! That's two on Williams now! Get him out of this team! He's cost us two bloody goals. Two bloody goals. He never blocks the cross because he hasn't got a left foot. If you play a right back at left back with a right foot, it's not his left foot. He can't stop the cross. Lindelof and Bruno are going at each other. Well, maybe Lindelof should be marking his man, but Williams should stop the cross coming in. And United Europa League's hopes are... Shrinking like a stiffy in an ice bath. Bloody jokes. Absolute joke. You know what, though? We're going to lose this game, not because we've played badly, but because the defence is shit. It's got, more, it's got more holes in it than a hedgehog's bloody pillow. It's a joke. You know, their goalkeeper's played brilliant this, this game, Bono. He's, he's, their defence has done their, their goalkeeper's done the job. I mean, De Gea can't do anything about these two goals. They're bloody tappings. But the defence, again, has let us down. 1-0. Bloody 1-0. Oh, my God. What a bloody joke. What a joke. 1-0 down Manchester United already. Palace, this is, this is just not, not good at all. I mean, let's have a look. Luke Shaw... No, it's nothing to do with Luke Shaw. Lindelof doesn't stop the cross. Luke Shaw probably not in a great position either. Lindelof and Shaw here, it's just not, it's not good enough. I don't think De Gea can do anything about it. And Man United are 1-0 down. It's just a lot sharper. Lindelof not strong enough. Luke Shaw not tight enough. And... Uh, it's a good finish by Townsend and it's 1-0 straight away. And I, I think at the end of the day, that's just sloppy start by United again. The, the team just looks like it's lacking confidence. Um, really poor, really disappointing. I'm, I'm quite surprised by that. Um, just a sloppy, sloppy start. How do you keep a straight face watching Man United as anime? I, I must admit, I'm probably in a little bit of shock at the moment from this start that we've had. I am, I am in shock. I'm, I'm stunned. Don't do this. No, that's not a penalty. No, he's going to look at the bloody TV. Oh, Martin Atkinson, you're a prat. What are you looking at the TV for? It's not a penalty. If they're saying you might want to review this, this is a panic time. This is a panic time. VAR, bloody... They've got they've got everybody's hands in their hands quite literally. VAR. It's like a it's like it's like it's like putting a prat in a Ferrari and they're doing 20 miles an hour going round a bloody roundabout. Get your bloody direction. There's no way that's a penalty. No. Look look, that's my reaction. Not a penalty. Never a penalty. It's, it's, the gap is too small. That is not a penalty. That is not a penalty. The gap's like that. It's a natural arm position. It's never a penalty. He's given a bloody penalty. You shut it up. Shut up. That is never a bloody penalty. Oh, Jesus alive. What a joke. How's this a penalty? There's absolutely nothing. His arm's in a natural position. That is not a penalty. People don't understand the rule.
Oh, for God's sake, man. How is that a penalty? His arm's in a natural position. Oh, I don't even understand the rule, probably. How is that a bloody penalty? Fuck. <sighs> AU. And this is it. Game over. If they score this, it's game over. Yes! De Gea saves it. Get in. Go on, Dave. Go on, Dave. Get in. He's back. He's back. Justice. Justice. Jam on toast. Fantastic save as well. Get in. Get in. Swivel on it. Swivel on that, De Gea haters. Dean Henderson. Shut up. That's my boy. That's De Gea. Have some bloody pride. Have some pride. Back your man. Back your man. That he, In the last six years, he's actually been somebody who's actually given a shit about this club. Back your man. Back him. Swivel on it. Go on. Go on, Dave. Get in. Bloody love it. Oh, no. Don't do the whole off the line thing. You're having a fucking laugh. You are having a laugh. Oh, you're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. I can't believe this bloody game. It's not a penalty anyway. And now De Gea's jumped off the bloody line a bit. You're having a bloody laugh. Come on. You're having a laugh. Shut up. You're having a bloody laugh. I can't believe this game. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't believe it. And he scores. Of course he bloody scores. Bloody joke. What a bloody joke this game is. I'm telling you now. VAR is a bloody joke. Can kiss my arse. Wasn't a penalty anyway. He should retake it again. He's off his line. Fuck off. I, I've never liked Martin Atkinson. Everybody knows I don't like Martin Atkinson. And yet again, look, VAR has told him to have a look at it. They haven't said it's a penalty. They've said have a, look, have a look at it. He's walked over to that VAR screen with a little stiffy and gone, I don't care whether it's dodgy or not. I'm giving a bloody penalty. I can't stand Martin Atkinson. He's always giving penalties against us. Oh my God, Lindelof. Get rid of him. Get rid of Victor Lindelof. He loses the ball and Zahar wins the game. I tell you what, what's wrong with this team? What's wrong with this team? We're like bloody musical statues. You've got to go Kevin Costner on this shit. We're Manchester United. You know, you've got to go Kevin Costner. Jump in front of the bloody bullet. Take a bullet. You're not that important. We're Manchester United. Get in there. What is, what is this? Half-hearted. Half-hearted from Lindelof. Comes into Lindelof. Half-hearted tackle. Zahar just turns him like a bottle top and puts it into the bottom corner. This is... He's got to go. I, I, I hate to be proven right. I hate to be proven right. But I've told you that centre-back partnership is trash. Absolutely trash. They totally deserve the three points. I, I'm not going to lie. They totally deserve the three points here tonight. Bloody trash. Absolute trash. Don't even give Lindelof a one. Awful. Absolutely trash. My life. Just 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Lindelof has been about as useful, useful as Stephen Hawking's treadmill. And that's before he died. And after. Useless. Absolutely useless. Oh, Pogba's ran into trouble there. That is shit. Absolute shit from United. We're 1-0 down. We're 1-0 down. Paul Pogba turns into danger and I don't know whether he should be get what well, look, the ball from David De Gea, I think it's a good ball. Pogba wants it, he gives it to him, he doesn't get the shout, he returns into danger. And Southampton, Romu, I think, with the dink. No, it's Redmond with the dink to the back post. All the time in the world is it Armstrong to just tap it home. And Manchester United from having a chance to go 1-0 up. They've, they've made a right cock up at the back. I don't know who should be marking Armstrong. 
Maybe Harry Maguire. I don't know. But the reality is it's a massive mistake by Paul Pogba. A massive mistake by Paul Pogba. And that's the second game in a row that we've done that early on. Remember Matic against Villa. Gets the ball. Doesn't get a shout from a player behind him. And we have to give a foul away on Samata from Bruno. Today, Pogba asks for the ball, gets it on the edge of the box, turns into danger, and Southampton score. They've done it. They've equalised. I don't fucking believe it. I don't bloody believe it. I can't bloody believe it. I don't believe it. What's the bloody point? What is the bloody point? What a joke. What a bloody joke. Bottled it. I can't believe it. Obafemi equalises at the end. What are we doing here? It's, it go, virtually goes in from the corner. That is crap. There's no VAR. It's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. That's crap defending, that is. There's, what, 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 what are we trying to get that goal disallowed for? For what? There's, there's nothing gone wrong. They've done nothing wrong, Southampton, there. It's just awful bloody defending. Where's Harry Maguire there? Strung up like a tin of salmon, as much use as a chocolate firefighter. What are you bloody doing? Uh, Phil Jones is starting. It's the pink boots. It's the pink boots. It's the pink boots, Marcus. The bloody pink boots. Are you afraid Sean Dykes will activate Barcelona made like he does in FIFA, says Nazir. I'm terrible at playing Burnley on FIFA. They're my, they're my dodgiest team. But I ain't scared of Sean Dyche. He sounds like he's trying to shit a big walnut out of a pinhole. That's what he sounds like. And empty seats. We're home. We are home. Uh, and, and Harry Maguire is wearing orange boots. Phil Jones is wearing white ones. He refuses to wear coloured boots anymore out of fear of being ridiculed by knobhead YouTubers. I was emotional. I said he shouldn't have took the penalty. I saw him in the pink boots and my mouth ran away with me. That's my defence. Burnley are a team I'd love to see get relegated. I'm sorry if there are any Burnley fans. Don't worry, there's not many. Oh, shit! They've bloody scored! I can't believe that! Not when I'm saying that! Not when I'm saying that. That better bloody be offside. How, how have I got caught saying that? Why was I saying that at that moment? Why was I bloody talking about Burnley? It's always bloody Burnley. I can't believe it. What's gone on here? The, it's, a, it's a ball forward. It's a flick on. And it's a tight spot. I tell you what. That's giraffe defending. Get your head in the sand, you bloody giraffe. I mean ostrich. I mean, we're getting that bloody wrong as well. Ostrich defending, head in the bloody sand, nobody reacting quick enough. We need to get saved by VAR here. Matic has got two players on him. Two players on him. VAR foul. Bloody give us something. Wood. Ostrich defending, that is. What am I about bloody giraffes? If we if we were if we were giraffes, we'd bloody we would we would have bloody stopped it. I can't that is a that is a sucker punch, that is. That is a sucker punch. They've not they've been rubbish. Burnley are rubbish, and we're one nil down. I, I, I have to say, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised though. I'm not bloody surprised. You don't take your chances. You don't take your chances. And I feel, in the, on in this game alone, I, I feel a little bit so, sorry for Oli because Wambasaka should have three assists. Martial should have had at least a goal. Mata should have scored. I mean, Wood, to be fair, did have another... I've got, I've got to be honest, somebody just said it in the live comments as well. Wood's had a chance that he should have scored as well. So, But we, should, we shouldn't be losing 1-0. We should be taking the chances that we've created. Oh, for shit's sake! You cannot believe it! You cannot believe what Jay Rodriguez has done! He's just, he's just gone and scored an absolute bloody... Twat! Twat! Where's he saved that up from? He's just gone and smashed in a bloody world-class goal into the top corner. Oh, you cannot believe this. You won't believe this. You will not believe this. It's Maguire again. He's not close enough. But the finish is just bloody ridiculous. Of all the times to go and pull out the goal of your career, you do it when we're bloody losing 1-0. Jay Rodriguez into the box. Left foot, top corner. De Gea can't get near it. Maguire's probably given him in a yard too much. But to be honest with you, you know, 
I'm not, I'm not, I, I can't say anything other than that goal. It was just the timing of it is just bloody ridiculous. As I said, we, you know, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, we've been mauled by a shark, not a tiger. It's bloody. It's one of them. I can't. I don't even. I can't even say anything other than we're not good enough. But it's not like I don't think there's a defensive error there. I'm. I'm. I'm shocked by that one because I think if it was any other game, I'd go what a goal. But you, you can't say what a goal because it's against us. But what a bloody time to do it. Just when you're down, you get kicked in the nuts again. We're already dead. Uh, it's not being given. Our Old Trafford is virtually empty. This is as low as we've been. This is, uh, it's, it's so hard because I've seen great things at United. I've seen titles. I've seen... The treble I've seen, you know, 99 um, in Barcelona. I've seen Moscow. I've seen even the Europa League when winning that. You know, this is as low as I've seen. This is as low as I've seen. And, you know, it's not nice. I don't like it. And it's a long, long, long way back. It's a long way back. Um, and the scary thing is we haven't even got the right people in the club to change it around. It's, it's devastating. It really is. And uh, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And I know other clubs have had it, but it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Because we're apt. The thing is, I think, like, you know, Liverpool say that they had it. But, you know, Liverpool, you had, at least you had decent players like Gerrard and stuff. I mean, we, we've got no decent players. We've got no... That's a bloody Peppa Pig now. I've done it again. This happened last night. Why has my bloody TV changed to Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig! Piss off, Peppa Pig! You bloody piece of shit. Somebody keeps recording Peppa Pig. That's what, why it does it. So it goes to bloody... Go on, Peppa Pig. No one wants to bloody watch Peppa Pig. Although I probably would prefer Peppa Pig to this shit. Could have been a bloody penalty there. Pogba's put his... This is going to be a penalty. This is going to be a penalty. 100% penalty to bloody West Ham. I guarantee this will be a penalty. I, I, it's his hands. Stupid, stupid. What's he supposed to do? The ball's going to hit him in the bloody head. It's going to be a bloody penalty. His hands are in an unnatural position. They'll give a penalty. He's given a bloody penalty. You're having a bloody joke. What's he meant to do? The ball's going to take his bloody head off. I tell you what, if he doesn't stick his hands up, everyone say, that's stupid. He's blocking his bloody head being took off. What's he supposed to do? He'll knock him out. Like, that, that's a stupid bloody rule. Who are these prats? Bloody boffin, stat in London, saying, oh, he's raising his hands. The ball's going to take his bloody head off. Wetter than a fisherman's pocket. That's a bloody joke. An absolute joke. Ridiculous. The ball's going to smack him in the bloody face. And they score 1-0. Shut up. Shut up. That's a bloody joke. They've done sod all. Absolutely. Look at them all celebrating like you've done something. What a joke. What a bloody joke. And everyone will be saying, oh, you've had that coming around. I tell you what, when a ball's going to your face 100 miles an hour, it's... What, what, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? His hands are in an unnatural position. I tell you what, line up those bloody VAR refs and I'll blast the ball at their face. Let me see if they take it. Let me see if they sit there and go, go on then, smack a ball in my bloody face. That's a, not, that's a natural reaction. The ball's going to hit him in the face. What's he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do? You don't know ball if you think that that's a penalty. It's going straight at his face. It's a natural reaction. If I try, if I pretend to punch you in the face, are you going to go, go on then, chin me? You're going to go and put your hands up. It's, it's like human nature. It's human nature, man. It's a bloody joke. Idiots. Idiots. The game is being run by bloody idiots who don't even know the game. I've said this so many times. It's the same with Mike Dean giving that red hand ball against Wolves last week. He puts his hands up because there's a Friggin' flying foot there. You don't get it. You don't get it. It's idiotville. It's idiotville in the bloody Premier League again. These idiots have got to be taken out of the game. And I'm telling you now, you've got to learn. You've got to learn. 
the, the, the Wolves player against Burnley, he's going to head it and somebody does an overhead kick, Miles in the air. Your reaction is to protect your face. The ball hits his hand. Oh, it's a penalty. It's an unnatural movement. It's not an unnatural movement. He's protecting his head. Paul Pogba's got a ball coming towards his face. What Pratt is going to stand there with their hands down and go, OK, you're going to put your hands up. It's You can't give a penalty for that. PSG, last year, that's a penalty because he jumps with his hands up. Putting your hands up to protect your face is a natural body movement. That's idiotic. Bloody idiotic. And look, people are saying clear penalty because you're an idiot. Because you're thinking he's put his hands up. I'm talking about unnatural hand movements. It's unnatural hand movement. And look, I can take it on the chin. I, maybe Pogba should have took it on the chin, to be fair. But the reality is, I can take it that Chelsea, Leicester, Arsenal fans, you're all loving it. But I'm telling you now, in your heart of hearts, you know, if I blast a football at your face, you're going to put your hands up. And the rules say it's a penalty if your hands are in an unnatural position. How can it be an unnatural position to protect your face? It's something you learn as a kid. You do. If someone tries to pinch your nose, you put your hand up. If someone's going to punch you in the face, you put... What do they tell you in boxing? Get your hands up. It's just the notion of this stupidity. It really winds me up. Because that's not an unnatural hand movement to protect your face. What do you think? You're not going to do it with your cock. You're not going to do it with your foot. You're going to put your hands up. Bloody, it, it's just, it just it defies logic to me. It really defies logic that, that people think that's a penalty and that we've got idiots running our game. And look, I'm not just talking about United. I said it about Mike Dean last week with the Wolves defender. He puts his hand up because he thinks he's going to get kicked in the face and they say it's they say it's unnatural movement. Alison Davis is obviously a penalty. Pogba needs to be out of the club. Oh, come on. Uh, can't say it was a goal-scoring opportunity. If his hands weren't there, it would have hit his face. The refs are jokes, says Ross. Look, I totally get why people are saying it is a penalty, but what my argument, I stick by it, is it's not... Uh, let's get Flex on, because he'll probably say it's a bloody penalty. But my point is that it's not... It's not... It's not. You know, The rule is unnatural. It's an unnatural position reaction for a footballer. Pogba could have turned his back, says Cheeky. Have you seen how quick the ball's going? Could, are you going to turn your back? Are you going to turn your back on a bloody bullet? It's, it was going fast. Um, Vidic blocks it with his nose, says Mark. For me, that's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. And, and and I know I get it. I totally get why people think it is, but they're probably not understanding what the rules is. Unnatural hand movement. He hasn't put his hands up for any other reason, which is a natural reaction to protect your face. And it really winds me up. And I'm not thinking it's a penalty. I don't think it's a penalty. I'll tell you why. You can turn it down if um, you're going to stick to your guns and you know how business is done and you say, listen, this is the price of my asset. Don't come to me with any construction of, of add-ons. Don't come to me with installments. Yeah. Don't come to me with a full-on bid that's less. I'm only talking to you unless it's 120 million euros. Okay. You're wasting okay. And especially, before I get to the Super Chats, before you carry on, because I know you went to come in about yeah. the Super Chats in, especially... Because um, you know, you you Oh you sit out, oh, sit out, sit out, sit out, out next to me. Out. Sit out, no, 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 I will. No, if you do what I think you're about to do because Mark's just entered the live chat and you didn't expect him to lose the live chat, I will lose respect for you like a man. Go on. I am, I'm in a hard place. I'm in a rock in a hard place. Listen, Mark here. <laughs> you're a fool. You're a loser. Don't... Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, hold on. It's I've, got it's one, good. I've got one for you. Wait, wait. There. It's, it's, do you want one? Do you want one? I don't really want this L, you know, but then... I can't be 15%. A lot of stuff's happening right now. I'm very confused. <laughs> You're a loser. Do you know what? I will say this, right, Mark? I will say this. I'm right. I yeah. will say this. You've come on this stream, right? Mark has just entered the stream as if he's just been <laughs> here we go from, from Romano. He's entered the stream yes. as if he's gone fee agreed. All that's happened is Manchester, unless, unless I'm getting this wrong, all that's happened is Man United have, were about to submit a bid of 90 million euros and for... Oh, sod that, actually. We better not, because they did tell us 120 million. And that's it. That's all that's happened. 
But Flex, we gotta to listen to the we gotta to listen to the details. Obviously, Mark is sitting on some A1 information that we don't know. That's for sure. He yeah? won't believe and that. Jordy, Jordy's sitting on some information. There's information in the works here, in the ether. Yeah. It's a bit weird that Jaden Sancho is at home, not playing against Dortmund in a very big game. Why is he at home? Illness. Not playing against Munich. He's illness. there, he's there, he's there like when we were kids, like he's woke up. The Dortmund manager said, I need you on the plane. He's got his head up against the radiator for 20 minutes. He says, Look, I've got a temperature. I've got a temperature. I've got a temperature. I'm not well. There's nothing right. wrong with him. All right, I'll tell you this. All right. This is, this is, because I have to say this as well, actually. I was saying this to Mark earlier, right? Go on. I, I messaged him on WhatsApp. I said, Please believe, I don't want this whole, like, I don't want to be saying by the end of the transfer window, I told you so. I'm I, think you I think you no, do. No, I think no, you think you'd rather no, 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 no. and that United get Sancho. Right. I think it's, that I think that bitter. No, I don't like that. Hold part. on, what That's... do you mean I'm sitting on some info, KG? What are you on about? Well, he probably is. <laughs> probably is. <laughs> do you know what? Drew knows something as well. Oh, there's, I'm there's, not there's sitting on anything, all right? Everything I had to say earlier was done. <laughs> and then you're saying, Drew, what club are you in? Are you in a 90% club? No, I, I'm sort of like with Flex and Goldbridge, so I've added them together. So I'm around about forty-five percent. So, no, uh, no, 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 plus ninety is ninety percent. You need to get a GCSD <laughs> exactly. maths, mate. No, no plus ninety. No, half, it's halfway. Halfway house is forty-five percent. So no, you know, no, it's good. Mm. There is a there is a Fabrizio I, Romano. I mean, I feel like I need to spell this out to Flex, but there is a Fabrizio Romano Instagram post, which is actually quite in, and he doesn't start Van der Beek. He hasn't started Van der Beek. What a twat. What an absolute prat. What an absolute prat. What is he doing? What is he doing? I'm fucking fuming with that. I'm absolutely... I've had it. I've absolutely had it. What is he doing? Like, what is he bloody well doing? He was our best man of the match against fucking Istanbul... He takes him off after an hour and you think, hopefully, hopefully he's doing that because he's going to play him against Everton. And he bloody drops him. What a friggin' idiot. And Matic is dropped. And Pogba is dropped. Well, I mean, I can deal with that. But un unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Fred, Sean Maguire, Lindelof, wan -Bissaka, De Gea. Idiot. Absolute bloody idiot. I'm fuming with that. I'm absolutely fuming. It doesn't mean we're not going to win. I'm not talking about not winning here. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am talking about is that is shocking. Absolutely shocking from, from a Manchester United manager to treat a player like that. I've had, I've, I'm, just, I'm just disgusted by it. I'm absolutely disgusted. Again. Again. Shocking. Absolute bloody shocking. And where, how are we fitting bloody matter into this team? What? What? I, I know what. I know what we're bloody playing here. I know. I know exactly the team he's playing here. Don't worry about this. I think. I, I, to be honest with you, I, I didn't want to say this, but I think if he uh, if he loses this game, he's got to go. You can't. You can't keep picking this team. It's an. It's an idiot team. It's got to win. It's basically got to win. Otherwise, um, he's got to go. It's simple as that. Because it's 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 bloody awful. I wouldn't be surprised if we win today, but that team there hasn't got a future. It's not going to get us top four. So, oh, we beat Everton with that team. Great. I'm so happy. Oh shit! Absolutely shit! We're not going to beat Everton. Bernard has scored for for Everton. It's one nil. And you've got to look at you've got to look at somebody here. Somebody help me. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer turns his back with a wry grin. He's the team, Manchester United under Solskjaer, we're folding quicker than Superman on laundry day at the moment. And it's Bernard. So it's just a long ball from the back, Pickford. Who's winning that first ball? Oh, look at Harry Maguire. I'm the spare man again. Cretin. Absolute cretin. I said this on Wednesday. Harry Maguire, look. I'm the spare man. I'm the sweeper. You're six foot ten. Why is Lindelof going to win headers against Calvert-Lewin? I tell you what, I hate being right. Bernard whacks it through the legs of wan -Bissaka. There's not a lot De Gea can do. But that is exactly what I spoke about against Istanbul. What a load of bullshit. What a load of crap. Why is Harry Maguire always the spare man? He's six. He's, he's, he's massive. 
We, it's always Lindelof or Twan Sebi who has to mark the striker. And Harry Maguire and his self-imposed I'm Harry Beckenbauer bullshit. You've got no passing range. You've got no vision. You've got no pace. You're an old-fashioned bully centre-back. Mark the bloody striker. Harry Maguire lets Lindelof mark Calvert-Lewin. The ball's in the air. He's got to go and win that. What's the tactics? What's the idea? I'm fed up of it. People say fans don't know football. We spoke about this on Wednesday. He's doing it again right now. Lindelof's marking Calvert-Lewin. Harry Maguire, we spent £80 million on him so he can pretend to be a Poundland Franz Beckenbauer. What's it? Yeah, Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer. That's it. You can see how it is represented as a diamond. Oh, my life. Oh, my good God. What are you doing, David De Gea? What a prat. I can't believe it, Dave. What has he done? What has he done? I can't believe what he has done there. Oh, my life. All the composure of Stevie Wonder. He's gonna. He's just got to boot it. He's just got to kick the ball forward. And he's kicked it against Calvert-Lewin. And it's gone in. It's just... Oh, I can't even believe this. So De Gea's got it. He's got it. He's, re he's ready to kick it. He kicks it long. It hits Calvert-Lewin's foot and goes straight in the goal. It's just ridiculous. Oh, Dave. Not Dave. Not Dave. I can't believe it. That is the jammy. I've, I remember Dwight York doing this against Chelsea years ago. I was actually at that game. Early noughties. Oh, what a prat, Dave. It's totally on De Gea. There's, there's, there's no... There's no... Oh. Well, we've just basically given... It's like starting a game and giving a team a lead. Reset. Reset and go again. Oh, what the bloody hell. Get out, Harry Maguire. Piss off. Piss off, Harry Maguire. You useless piece of shit. What are you doing? What is he bloody well doing? That is the worst bit of defending I've ever seen from United. What is he bloody well doing here? What is he doing? He's trying to head it back to the keeper. Oh, my life. Bloody Harry Maguire. He's useless. He's bloody well useless. He gets two chances to head this away. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's, he's crap. He's absolutely crap. £80 million we paid for him. £80 million for his aerial ability. And he heads the ball like a bloody balloon. Useless. Absolutely bloody useless. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. 80 million quid on that prat. You can't believe it. You can't get you can't get 1-0 up in a game like that and give a lead up straight away. He is dusted. Absolutely dusted. What a prat. Oh, here we go. Son. 2-0. Fuck off. Get out. Get out. This defense is rubbish. It's bloody rubbish. Harry Maguire again. Stupid foul. Quick free kick. 2-1 down. 2-1 down. Bloody rubbish. I tell you what, you can buy Messi, you can buy Neymar, you can buy Ronaldo with these prats at the back. Look at that. Stupid free kick. Nobody's covering the back. I can't believe this. To be honest with you, I tell you what, to be honest with you, that ref's a bloody disgrace. That free kick should not be allowed to be done that quickly. This is not, that shouldn't be allowed to do, that, they shouldn't be allowed to do that that quick. I tell you what, I don't think that's right. I think United have had a really bad start, but I think the ref's taken the piss there. Harry Kane gets up and literally kicks the ball straight away. I don't think, I, you know, I don't know, I think that's open to interpretation. But the reality is, defensively, shit. Harry Maguire, in the first seven minutes, has defended like a bloody newborn lamb trying to stop a pack of hungry wolves eating the last Krispy Kreme donut. Rubbish. Captain of the club. Get rid of him. He's a bloody joke. What a shamble. How is this on the manager? How is this on the manager? It's just idiots. 80 million quid on a bloody... Well, I, I, I'm not even going to use the derogatory term that people use. 
I don't know what's going on here, but there's a red card. Martial, I think, might have got a red card here. Or Eric Bay. He pushes Lamella. Lamella pushes him in the face first. Oh, my life. They forget. Cancel football. Cancel football. If they're gonna, if they're gonna stick to this red card, is what? What's the point in VAR? What's the point in VAR? What is the point in VAR? He, he hits Martial first. What is the point in VAR if he sends Martial off? What is the point? Am I am I missing something? What is the point? Lamella hits him first. I'm I'm lo I'm lost here. What? How can Martial be sent off and not Lamella? I'm not I'm not even joking. Football is over. What? That is a disgrace. Come on. I know United have defended badly. Football is a disgrace. Uh, I'll tell you what. We may as well just give up and go home. The ref has fucked this game up. I can't believe it. I, you know what? I actually can't believe this. Eric Bailey as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm very rarely speechless, but I don't even know what to say. We're trying to pass out from the back. Son with the assist. Harry Kane makes it 3-1. I mean, <laughs> we are lower. We are sinking lower than Bilbo Baggins' front door here. But I, I tell you what, I feel in a massive, massive sense of injustice because I cannot understand how Lamella isn't getting a red card. And And you know what? All interest in this game has gone to me because I cannot understand how Lamella can go like that on Anthony Martial. Martial should get a red, but so should Lamella. I don't understand it. Why does he not send Lamella off as well? What Am I missing something? He blatantly hits him in the head. I can't, I can't, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm disengaged in football now. I'm, in, I'm not interested in, VAR, in football anymore because we've got VAR for a reason. And Martial shouldn't do what he does, but Lamella hits him first. Like, how is, how, how is that not a red card to Lamella as well? I don't get it. What, where, where's the justice in life? Where's the, where's the justice in football? Like, he hit, he blatantly hits Martial in the face. Martial should not react. I get that. But for fuck's sake, he hits him first. Like, why would they not review that on VAR? I just don't, I just, I can't, I can't believe it. But it's 4-1. It's 4-1 and it, we've only had 36 minutes. I feel like throwing up. I feel like throwing up. I'm looking at Son dancing around like a smug shit. Um, I, never, I don't think anybody predicted this coming today. No. There's no pride in the shirt. There's no leadership in the shirt. I mean, Luke Shaw's way out of position here. Why is Harry Maguire on the front post? What are we doing? Matic's not picking up the run. Nobody's picking up the runners. I mean, we're down to 10 men at the end of the day, so this is going to happen, but... I just don't get it. It's gone through Maguire's legs as well on the cross. Bloody hell. Maguire's been nutmegged on a cross now. Martial suspended. Here we go. 5-1. Yep. Straight into the bottom corner. 5-1. Aurier on the overlap. Only had five minutes of the second half. <laughs> He's got Paul Pogba playing left wing against Aurier, who's going to bomb forward and backwards. Paul Pogba, who should have been subbed at half time, but he, he took Bruno off. Putting Paul Pogba, keeping Paul Pogba on that pitch, asking him to do defensive work on the left-hand side is suicide. It's basically like sending a bloody noisy, sociable grasshopper into a world full of frogs. Suicide. He just doesn't... He's got no concept of tracking his man, Paul Pogba, and hasn't had it all game. They've been running off him all game. It was it Belly in the first half ran off Paul Pogba. And yet we've kept Paul Pogba on the pitch to do a defensive job. And within five minutes, Aurier scores a goal. 5-1. And that, that's, why at half, that's why at half time, when I saw Pogba still on the pitch and Bruno off it, I was like, what is he doing? 
and within five minutes it's come to pass. That goal is totally on Paul Pogba. It's a right back. I know we're down to 10 men, but it's a bloody right back. Track the runs. I mean, just... He's just giving a penalty away. He's cost us two goals. Absolute. Well, you know, Pogba's there having a good old smile. He's cost us two goals in this game. But what? I mean, I like Pogba. I've got nothing against Pogba. But I said he should have come off at half-time. I said he had a bad first half. And he's cost us two goals. Like, both the goals in this second half. And, I, you know, people like Fred and McTominay have actually worked really hard. But he's, he's cost us both goals in this second half. So, you know, the Pogba fan club, and a lot of the Pogba fan club will be Oli Outers. And just, just the same as the Harry Maguire fan club, they're Oli Outers. But you've got to step up to the plate and say that there's a collective problem here. And Harry Maguire makes it 6-1. Lovely penalty. Past De Gea. He can't even... He goes the right way. He just can't get near it. But Paul Pogba's at fault for that. Totally and utterly at fault for that. There's no... It's a, it's a reckless slide tackle. There's a mentality issue at Manchester United. Like, the tackles that are going in in the box there. It's just... It just sends the wrong, the wrong message. It's a weak mentality. It's a petulance. It's a lack of discipline. He just slides into a tackle 10 weeks too late. It's disgusting from somebody of Paul Pogba's, you know, level of ability. He's won a World Cup. He's been in a dressing room telling everybody what to do. Why at Manchester United are you doing stuff like that? And look at Mourinho, he's loving it. He's loving it. And why wouldn't he? I've got no problem with it. Everybody. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! You're bloody joking. You're bloody joking. They've done sod all. They've done absolutely nothing. And Bergwijn cuts through the middle like a hot knife through butter. Terrible, terrible defence by Manchester United this. What the? This is the, this is a Mourinho of bot. This is the Mourinho I hate. This is the Mourinho you come to expect. They've done sod all. Absolutely nothing. And we let them score first. It's a long ball by Lloris. He might be offside. He might be offside. I hope he is offside. Luke Shaw heads it. Rashford doesn't win it. And Bergwijn just runs at Harry Maguire. Oh, the defence is terrible there. The defence is terrible. Confused. Confusion reigns in the United defence. Bergwijn runs straight at Harry Maguire. Fred can't catch him. Harry Maguire, what are you doing? Confused. Confused like a bloody hungry squirrel with a nut allergy. What is he doing? What is Harry Maguire doing there? He shows him. He opens the door and says, "Come in, burgle me." It's it's it, if we, he's not offside. He's not offside. Watch Harry Maguire's positioning here. It's disgraceful. He shows him into the gap to score the goal. Show him the other bloody way. Show him the what? Don't show him down the centre. Show him down the wing. And remember, this is not a bad. Oh my God. Denver Bar. Who was marking him? Who's marking Demba Bar? That is shit defending. What is going on at the back there? Bloody hell. Bizictus or whatever they're bloody called. They, they literally just boots it up from a corner. He stood on the halfway line on his own. It's bloody memories of Slippy G. He's running through and nobody's marking him. What the bloody hell? It's the invisible man. Oh, Matic. What have you done? It's Matic's fault. What is he doing? You can't. This is this is bloody Champions League football. We've basically left a striker unmarked on the halfway line. It's the sort of thing you see at school in the last minutes when you're trying to win a game. It's basic. Oh my God. What is Matic doing there? That is a bloody disgrace, everybody. I'm telling you now. That is useless. Absolutely useless. Matic there, covering the defence, about as useful as a pair of glasses on a bloke with one ear. Awful. Absolutely awful. And I'm not joking. I've never seen anything like that. I'm really stunned by that. That is unbelievable. How do you do that? That's nothing to do with tactics. That is shocking. I'm, I'm not joking. That is absolutely shocking. 
if you're not watching, United have got a corner. They clear it, and Demba Barr is stood on the halfway line, obviously onside because he's in their own half. Not marked. Like, it's crazy. And I think Matic goes forward a bit because he wants a pass, but you should never do that. This is This is like... There's no justification for leaving a player up front on their own. Crazy. Absolute crazy. Oh, for God's sake. Absolute shit. Absolute shit. Lack of pace of matter. Poor pass by Bruno. But Harry Maguire, I tell you what, he may as well have come to my house on Saturday night for Halloween and I would have opened the door in his full kit and I would have said, you've come of a ghost, haven't you? No, I'm Harry Maguire in a full kit. Useless. Absolutely useless. I'm telling you now, he couldn't pour water out of a jug if I told him the instructions were on the bottom. Watch this bat. I mean, Matt has got no pace. But look at this. He's got to make a tackle. He doesn't make a bloody tackle. Useless. Absolutely useless. Captain of the club and doesn't go and go for the ball. Demba Bar doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. Bloody joke. Absolute joke at the back. That's your captain. That's your bloody captain. Couldn't tackle a packet of Watsits. Absolute joke. And I know he's not the only one. I know he's not the only one. And I know it comes from the pass from Bruno. Lack of pace and matter he's done at this level. But defensively, you've got to put a tackle in. When that crass, he doesn't take accountability on crosses. Sevilla, watch him on the front post on both goals against Sevilla. Watch him there. There's loads of examples. Every time a cross comes in, he doesn't take any responsibility. You're the bloody captain. Do you think Nemanja Vidic is going to let a ball go past him? He'll get his bloody arse in the way if he has to. I'm fed up of it. It's because it's not a single. It's not a single moment with Maguire. He doesn't take ownership on crosses. He doesn't go and stop it. That never makes it to the back post if he doesn't put his foot in the way. Why doesn't he put his foot in the way? Oh, because I thought Demba Bar was going to do a, a pirouette skill. It ain't bloody FIFA. Go through the back of him. Put your foot on the ball. Awful defending. Absolutely awful. I'm bloody fed up of it. Oh, ref. We'll have a foul by Romu there. Bloody Romu again. He's a filthy shit. He's a filthy shit. I hate that Romu. Romu's a frigging dirty shit. He really is. Did it to Mason last year. Fucking cunt. Oh, I've sworn now. He's a disgrace. He's an absolute disgrace. I told you! I bloody told you! Zonal marking is an absolute waste of time. When are we going to learn? When are we going to learn? We're like mice going after cheese in a bloody mouse trap. We keep going into the trap every time. Stop going for the cheese and use your bloody brain. Pratt. Pratt. Why? Why do I see this? Why do you see this? We're talking. Zonal marking again. Mark your bloody men. That is a joke of a goal to give up. Mate, look, Harry Maguire's trying to get there too late. Too bloody late. He's not marking anyone. The captain of the team, the biggest player in our team, is not marking anybody. And it's a joke. It's zonal marking. It's from the training ground. And it's a bloody joke. I've seen this for a year now. You cannot do this. You cannot have the best aerial centre-back in the league, arguably, marking thin air in a zonal marking position. It's a bloody joke. And they've done nothing in that game. We played really, really well. And we give, it, we give up a goal because we couldn't mark a blank piece of paper with muddy hands. Joke. Oh, for God's sake. It's gone in. What a prat. What a prat. What's gone on here? Manchester United have, been, have come undone. They've come undone like a pair of clown's trousers. What is going on here? Bloody hell. Dennis. Dennis the Menace has scored. He's the one that Romero fouled. I, I, it's a long ball. It's a long ball. Romero's doing this, but can we see the goal back, please? A, a goal's gone in. Can we see the bloody goal back? Oh, let's show the crowd. Oh, we're, we're fuming. Give us the bloody goal back. Here we go. It's a long ball. Lindelof all over the shop. Williams can't get there. Helpless defending. Helpless defending, that is. Lindelof, get in the bin. 
Brandon Williams, not quick enough. Helpless defending. Like the bloody last lo Rolo in a Weight Watchers buffet. Helpless. It's 1-0 to Club Bruges. And that's crap. That's awful defending. Awful. A long ball over the top. I ridiculed John Terry for this in World Cup 2010. A, goal a goalkeeper should not be getting assists. That is a joke. Lindelof and Brandon Williams there. You have got to do a lot better. This is high-end football. And I like I like Brandon Williams and I like Lindelof, but that, that is poor. It's a long ball over the top and you've been pushed off. You've been pushed over by a sprinter. That's what's happened. Let's not just no no, let's not just pick on Lindelof because it's fashionable. Brandon Williams has got to do a lot better there. And we all love Brandon Williams, but he has got to be stronger there. He has got to anticipate that as well. I think Lindelof's more at blame, but they're both soft there. Soft as a Mr. Whiffy ice cream. It ain't going to work. The sacks is Andrew Rossi. Plenty of time to go yet. Plenty of time to go yet. But I think defensively that was a... That is... That's the sort of goal you can see in school football or on a Sunday morning pub football. You know, the, the goalkeeper black kicks it from a goal kick and, and, and their striker's running through one-on-one. -on -one. Fred, and that's a free kick. I would score from here. I would score from here. This is a goal bridge Bruno Fernandes, FIFA career mode, classic, vintage, top corner. I'd be like, this is like a penalty, this. But Bruno in real life is not goal bridge on FIFA, unfortunately. Or is he? Can he do what I do? Little bender into the top corner, although Rashford's here. This should not be Rashford. It should be Bruno Fernandes, top corner. That's a penalty. He kicks Martial's foot. It's a bloody penalty. Why is VAR not doing anything about that? That's a bloody penalty. De M bloody Mike Dean again. You give Burnley a dodgy penalty for sod all. And then Martial gets, the, gets to the ball first. That's a free kick. It's a bloody free kick. So why do you think Martial's injured? You bloody idiot. He's awful. Mike Dean is crap. Absolutely useless. Chaos. Mike Chaos Dean, I call him. Gives a dodgy penalty to Burnley. And there's a goal. A bloody goal. Right on half time. I'm looking at something else. Bloody hell. What's gone on here? Giroud. Friggin' hell. That's just typical of this half. Crap tactics. An injury. A rubbish referee. And I don't, I don't even know what's gone on here. But Giroud is celebrating. Comes down the right-hand side. Willian. Oh, let the runner go. Who's meant to be with the runner there? And then Lindelof. Lindelof. I mean, this is just a just catalogue of errors at the back. It's like, a grenade, it's like a trifle eating a bloody grenade. It's just a big mess. A bloody mess. Who's tracking Aspilicueta's Aspilicueta run? Lindelof letting the striker get in front of him again. This happened against Southampton. And I think De Gea maybe, well, from that distance, I don't know. I think De Gea probably should save it as well. It is. Boom. Grenade and a bloody trifle. A mess everywhere. A bloody mess right on half time as well. Against these dirty shits. Ridiculous. Bloody ridiculous. How's the fullback overlapping and not being tracked? Who should be doing that? Is it Williams? Is it Bruno? Is it Rashford? And Lindelof has got to get in front of them. You can't have a centre-back who's, who's with manners. Oh, after you. I'll open the door for you. You've got to be there bloody first. That's twice in a week Lindelof has let the striker get in front. And yes, I think De Gea probably should save it. But you can't have a centre-back who's with manners. You can't let the centre-forward go first twice in a bloody week. Mess. Um, Brandon Williams has just gifted the ball here to Chelsea. Fucking hell. De Gea's got to go, lads. He's got to go. What is going on with Manchester? I just don't believe what's just happened. I cannot believe what has just happened. We've just bloody give... Tell you what, forget the FA Cup. Bloody forget it. What's going on with Manchester United here? Brandon Williams gives a sloppy ball away, but this never should go in. Talk about the invisible man. What's happened to David De Gea? He's lost his soul. He's just gone. Mason Mount just tries a, a shot from way out. Never should go in. Never should go in. It's sad. This is sad. 
This is the decline of David De Gea. That is shocking. It's almost like he's got a brown envelope. How does this go in? It's terrible goalkeeping. It's absolutely shocking. Shocking. That is unbelievable. That is sad. That is absolutely sad. That is a gift. It's bloody Christmas. Get your sack out. What a joke. That's it. FA Cup gone. Don't bring any players on now. What is going on with David De Gea? Chris Packet Risps, yeah. Unbelievable. Chris Packet. I can't believe it. Too many players in this squad not focused, not switched on. Brandon Williams has had a crap game. That's a lazy pass. But come on. De Gea's got to save that. Awful. Awful. Absolutely shocking. I can't. I can't. I'm sad. I'm saddened because I love David De Gea. And um, he's made a right cock up there. Corner to Chelsea. United, I don't think we've had a shot on goal yet. I, I, I'm scared to look. No shot on goal that I can remember apart from a free kick. Good save by De Gea. It's not gonna make it it's not gonna make it right though, David, is it? It's a good save, but it's not gonna make it right. And it is 3-0. Rudiger. Absolutely embarrassing. Embarrassing from Manchester United. David De Gea looks to the skies. They're not gonna help you. That is absolutely embarrassing. And another goal on the front post. I tell you what, let's not have an agenda here. Let's not put it all on to David De Gea. We are getting screwed so hard at the back at the moment. It sounds like a bloke running along the bloody side of a pool in flip-flops. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's the same goal every bloody time. Cross comes in, Maguire not on the front post. Rudiger, just like Giroud in the first half. It, well, actually, it's an own goal by Harry Maguire. I mean, it's a little bit unfortunate, but they've dominated. They, ne they nearly scored just before that. They nearly scored just before that with Reese James. It's, I mean, should De Gea save this? Probably as well. <sighs> this ain't acceptable, is it? This is not acceptable. It doesn't matter how you dress it up. It's still a turd. You can't, you can spray potpourri on it. You can put a bit of aftershave on it. You can put a dress on it. It's still a turd. Defensively, we are a shambles. All the way across that back four today, Maguire, Lindelof, Williams, Wambasaka, David De Gea, they have provided no platform for United to build upon. Nothing. And they've been, they've had more holes than a hedgehog's mattress. It's, it's just shocking. Absolutely shocking defensively. And it's worrying defensively that we've played like that. And Lampard has schooled Oli from minute one. The tempo, the ability. I just cannot believe we tried to beat Chelsea four times in a row with the same tactics we used three times before. Who do they think Lampard is? Do we think he's on a bloody, you know, do you think he's, I just must think he's got a very high IQ. I know that. He's not a bloody idiot. And we're trying to beat him with part of the bus and hit him on the break. He's going to figure it out. He's going to figure it out. It is. Oh, it's delightful. That. W it's delightful. It's still delightful. It's a fantastic goal. I've just slipped on the just eat bloody. I've just slipped on that. But it's a fantastic goal. Here we go again. Where's Wambasaka again? Oh, my God. What is Wambasaka doing again? This is a simple ball across the back post. And he's not marking his bloody man again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Bloody mince pie defending. About as useful as a mince pie swimming through custard. Shite. Absolute shite. I cannot believe. How many times am I going to get this right? How many times has he been? He's holding hands with Lindelof again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wambasaka, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? He never marks the back post. What is he doing? Why are we picking this up after every game? Why is he not doing it? Why can I see it? I've, I'm not even a bloody Premier League manager. Bloody hell. First five minutes and we're 1-0 down. 
Oh, I tell you what, if you've never watched this show before, we've been talking about this for weeks. Wan-Bissaka is forever holding hands with Lindelof. He never marks the back post. It's a disgrace. Back five and you don't mark the back post. Prats. Absolute prats. Well, bang goes the game plan. Frigging out. I mean, I don't even... I mean, Wan-Bissaka has to have the blame, but it's got to be tactical. It's got to be tactical at this point. Oh my god. I'm just I'm 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 the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and we keep doing it. I'm furious with that. We are no we're getting nowhere near them. They're just moving around. We've got very slow 2-0 for fuck's sake. This is embarrassing. I, I literally predicted it. It's embarrassing. I tell you what, tactically, we're about as useful as a bloody shirt pocket on a wetsuit. It's a joke. An absolute joke. Absolute joke. I literally was just talking about how we're being passed around the park. And, you know, Maguire, Lindelof, Matic, McTominay, too bloody slow. We might get a saving grace here. There might be some sort of foul, but... It's just, they're knocking it around donkey slow players. Like Maguire and, sorry, McTominay and Matic. They're too big for a game like this. I don't know what they're trying to claim here, Maguire. Well, I can't see anything wrong with that goal. I don't know what they're going to try and claim. But again, it's, it's an unmarked player on the back post with a back five. Like, how is that happening? Tellez out of position this time. How the hell are wing backs in a bloody back five? Unbelievable. Leipzig with the cross, Lindelof to Pogba, terrible pass. Ah, pass it. These players are not at it. They're not at it. Well, I'm, I'm stating the bloody obvious. 20 minutes to go here. Some of the passings. Oh, my God. Harry Maguire. Get rid of Harry Maguire. Get rid of Harry Maguire. He is shit. He is absolutely shit. He's just left the ball and the striker puts it in. He's bloody useless. He's absolutely useless. Three goals conceded. Three goals conceded tonight. Abs Bruno's shaking his head. He is fucking shit. Absolute shit. Absolute shit. I don't often say this about a player, but watch this goal back. The cross comes in and he leaves it. He bloody leaves it. Unbelievable. Absolute unbelievable defending from Harry Maguire. How many times... How many times we've conceded three goals and every one of them has been because of bad defending. And I tell you what, I said this in the... I've been saying it for weeks about wan -Bissaka. He doesn't mark the back post. Harry Maguire goes missing when the ball's on the ground and it's a cross. He don't want nothing to do with it. He's like... It's like a... He doesn't want anything to do with it. He won't go anywhere near it. Absolutely shocking. Welcome to the Europa League. Plate... Kick the Emmerdale music in, because that's your Thursday night sorted from February. Thursday night football, courtesy of Harry Maguire and his shit back five. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How many times have I said on this show that Harry Maguire never, ever, ever kick, goes and stops the ball when it's across the, across the, across the front post? Just, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I cannot, cannot, cannot believe how these players keep playing for Manchester United when they could not defend a picnic from a pack of ants. It is embarrassing. Three goals, all of them, because we cannot defend. United not starting off particularly. We've had, we've had five minutes already, though. So remember, a draw is not terrible for us. And this is where we are going to be good. One minute, 37 seconds later. Mbappe up against Tellez. Glides past him. And then past McTominay. And then he shoots. And Neymar scores. Absolutely shit. Absolutely shit defending. I'm telling you what. We couldn't catch a cold, that defence there. Awful. Absolutely terrible. Mbappe just goes past Tellez and McTominay like they're not there. And then where's somebody on the second ball? Couldn't catch a bloody cold. That is terrible defending. We're still in the bloody dressing room. I've got our bloody slippers on. 
It's bloody custard cream defending. In fact, it's not even custard cream defending. Somebody get the sticky toffee pudding, because we are running through custard. Maguire's got the custard, and I'm not even blaming Maguire, but he is the captain, and that whole back four, they're holding a jug of custard to put it on their bloody on the pudding, because that is terrible. So slow. Nobody's reacting to anything. They just glide past us. It's Mbappe and Neymar show. That is shocking defending again. You know, we 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 play. I'm having your best ever sandwich. Cheers, Mark, uh, says Stuart Fraser. It's all kicked off a little bit here. I don't know what's happened. Paradise has just gone down. I don't know what's just happened there. I was looking at the uh, live comments. Well, Fred might be getting a red card. He's pushed his head into Paradise, who put his head into him first. But uh, from, I mean, look, he's a fucking disgrace. I, I always liked Paradise as well. I always liked Paradise. What a cheat. I'm fed up of these bloody cheats. I think Fred's going to get sent off because he pushes his head. But Paradise puts it into him. We're not... What, what? I like Fred, but what are we learning? Anthony Martial's been sent off for this. What is going... I mean, M Maguire's getting involved now because he didn't get involved in the other one. I don't know what's going on. The ref's run to the wrong bloody TV screen. Red, Fred's going to get sent off. Absolute prat. Oh, no. He's given a yellow card. Well done, ref. Well done to the referee. I tell you what, that could have been a red. And uh, I think the ref's done really well there because he's basically seen what a cheat Paradis is and, he, and he's not sent him off. Well done, ref. Oh, Rashford's through the middle. Cross it, cross it. Oh, my God, Martial. You are going to get absolute pelters. Absolute pelters. I can't defend him. I cannot defend Martial on that. And they've scored. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's not offside either. He makes a great save there. And what is gone? What's going on here? All the missed chances. All the missed chances. Cross comes in from Neymar. Headed away. They're onside. They're all onside. They're all onside. We've all pushed out. Where's our bloody centre-backs? They're all running out. You can't... Where's Maguire and Lindelof here? They're nowhere near. It's McTominay, Wambasaka and Cavani. Where the bloody hell are our centre-backs again? That's a joke. They're on, a, they're on bloody holiday. I don't. I mean, De Gea nearly makes a great save from this, but it's Marcanos. It's two one. Our centre backs are a bloody disgrace. They're, 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 where are they? Where are you? Where's Wally? Where's two of them? They're not off. That's not offside. We ain't gonna get away with that. It's not offside. Red card. Fred. Well, that's been proved wrong as well. Second yellow for Fred. It's all gone wrong. This is a bloody joke. He should have made substitutions. He should have made substitutions on the half an hour with half an hour to go. He's left the subs too late. We got the ball. He gets the bloody ball. Does he get the ball? I think he gets the ball. Gets the ball, ref. Gets the bloody ball. Look at it on VAR. Go to VAR. Check it on VAR. Well, it's a joke. Absolute joke. I mean, some would say there's justice there. Check the bloody thing. He gets the ball. He's not going to change his mind because he knows he should have sent him off in the first half. He kicks the ball. You clearly see him kick the ball. That cannot. You can't check a yellow card. You can't check a yellow card. Bloody hell. Well, Manchester United's chances of winning here are receding like Bruce Willis's hairline. We are going to lose. Thanks, ref. I take everything back about what I said. You bloody idiot. 3-1. 3-1. It's all over. Where's the defence again? Well, the defence has disappeared and it's 3-1. It's just... <sighs> We've gone for it. We've conceded a goal, haven't we? That's what's happened there. Oli won't be very happy. I'm sure he'll have a few words, but... I mean, Bruno's basically playing as a centre-back here. It's over 3-1. I can't... 
I will, I, will, I will acknowledge Martial's fault. Thank you very much. I'll do it in the match reaction. I think we're fully aware of that. But we've got no defenders here. Harvey Barnes, you've got to block him. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. What did I just say? You've got to block him off. We've done all that work to get in front and that. Who's at fault for this? Because that's a bloody joke. That's two goals in, in a week in the bloody Premier League where we've stood off from the edge of the box. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit, that is. Bloody bottle jobs. What are we doing here? Harry Maguire clears it. Bruno loses it. Now, that's McTominay, that is. That's fucking McTominay. Bloody close him down, you prat. That's bloody lazy, that. At this level, that's a frigging joke from McTominay. It's a good finish from Barnes, but that's a bloody joke. You've got to close him down. You've got to close him down. Well, people blame blaming Bruno. You can blame Bruno for giving the ball away, but that's got to be closed down by McTominay. Really has. Fucking joke. That is so bloody lazy. You can't blame De Gea, it's a good finish. You can't blame Eric Bay because it's too far away from him. Bruno shouldn't give the ball away. And McTominay has got to close him down. You're a centre defensive midfielder. You've got to close him down. You cannot sit there. If I'm the manager at half-time, I'm saying, Bruno, what, what's going on? You're the best player we've got, but what's going on? And, from, and McTominay, I'm saying, what the bloody hell are you doing? What are you doing? Joke. Too much time passes there before he gets the shot off. He's got to close him down. If you don't know football, I can't teach you. Like, if you think that's on Bruno, you do not know football. I'm sorry. Bruno should not give the ball away, but does he give the goal away for the shot? Does Harvey Barnes take a touch and have a shot? He's got to close him down. You, you've got to understand football here. If you're blaming Bruno Fernandes, you don't understand football. The, fo the ball gets given away a lot. You can say Bruno don't give the ball away, but what you can't say is that well, it's Bruno's fault because they score. No, you've got to close the ball down. That's your job. He takes a touch and shoots. You've got to close him down. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, Flex, can you hear me? Yeah, man. Give us your thoughts on that half, mate. Um, well, first of all, who's at fault for the goal? Um, they're both culpable, but more so McTominay. Uh, but they're both actually not. I'm even saying, yeah, just slightly more so. Bruno, you can't you can't try a, a nutmeg there in that position. It's you know, it, you, as well as McTominay's job is as defensive midfielder to protect and, and to shut people down, Bruno's job is to keep the ball and, you know, make things happen. And I know he's done that with a, with a great assist. Should have had two assists. He's been absolutely, you know, brilliant. But you don't try and not make someone there. That's ridiculous. But Scott McTominay, that oh, is yeah, your bread the, and the butter. Problem with, You've got with to this respond. Is... You've got to react. You're too slow to get across to him. But he tries to, to try and do that for Scott. Um, and he's too far away. And, it, and look, it's a great strike from Harvey Barnes. Well, that's the contrast for me right. because that's that's my frustration. Look, Bruno shouldn't give the ball away from there. But let's not pretend he gives the ball away and Vardy's got an open goal. It's like, it's yeah. 30 yards out. It's a great shot by Harvey Barnes and it's a good goal. De Gea can't get near it. So it's a very, very good yeah. goal. But I think, I think people just don't read football properly because they go, oh, Bruno shouldn't give the ball away there. People give the ball away. Your job as the centre defence midfielder, yeah. when the ball is yeah, given but, away... But you know what? I have to say this, though. This is why it's a bit closer than I think... Well, I think you're more leaning with, Scott, what the hell are you doing? Because you don't like him as a defensive midfielder, which I agree with. Because he, when he's not making third-man runs, you don't see the best of him. But Bruno's give it away by trying something that you don't... You should only really try that in, in the final third, if I'm honest. Don't be given... You don't try... If he's tried to play someone in or try to get Martial in over the top or Dan James and it's ricocheted and he's lost it, fine. So now we're in a position Don't... where we're going to blame Bruno Fernandes, who has you made us make. relevant for 10 months. We're going to we're gonna go in on Bruno Fernandes because he's made us relevant for 10 months and already should have had two assists in this game and the game should be won. Great. But we're going to blame Bruno fine. Fernandes because Scott McTominay's not a CDM. No, happy no, happy no, days. No, well done. No. That's great. If that's if what, that's what, what our no, fan base has become, gonna, what a load of shite. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. But it's, but it's bullshit. I can't no, believe it. We played together. We played Bruno together. Jumper on. No, no. You've got the Bruno jumper on. And listen. listen Mate, I thought God. better of you than this. 
30 Listen. yards out and he gives the ball away and it's Bruno's fault because McTominay Mate, doesn't play I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what then. If McTominay tries to nutmeg a player in there and then the t- other, and then we go on to... I blame to, Fred. To concede, you're not just, you're not just going to say, oh, Fred's only Fred's got... You're going to go, and McTominay, what a prat. Why are you trying to do nutmegs there? You don't, it doesn't matter whether yours are done. It, you you know don't try and me? nutmeg. Listen, you can't nutmeg someone. If the nutmeg don't come off, yeah? If the nutmeg don't come off, it's you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Second You're going to get it. Well, I'm going to blame Maguire Both then. I'll blame Maguire as well oh. then. Let's blame Maguire because he fucked up the clearance. No, That's because it. he didn't. He sorted it out. He sorted it out. It wasn't you Maguire. Blame, you don't, do this. But you, this is stupid. This is, the, this is like the goal against Istanbul where people tried to blame Blue, like Bruno that. for the pass to Mata like when Mata that. messed it up. The reality like is, that. you do that was, not... That was, that was at the halfway line. What are you on about? You don't blame a player when they didn't actually directly cause the goal. The goal is caused by the fact that somebody doesn't... And we're going to see it now. You know, do you know all you need to say? All you actually need to say is they're both culpable there. No. I, I mean, Bruno no, no, shouldn't not. try... I'll so tell what, you what, so let's blame Rashford so then. Bruno let's blame the Rashford. He scored a goal, but he missed the bloody sitter my grand would score. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So every time Bruno gets the ball in that position, do you want him to try and nutmeg them? No, I don't. I, I've already accepted that. I've already said... Right, so he's ball partly away, to blame. Partly that, to blame. Yeah, partly to blame. People are trying yeah. to say it's his fault. Like, no, it's not just his fault and it's not just McTominay's no, fault. It's McTominay's fault more than Bruno's. Nah. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, you're gonna see. Well, we're gonna if, see well, it now. We're gonna see this now. There, if he doesn't try and not make there and keeps possession of the ball, Scott McTominay won't even have, to have even have to come over enough and to if make McTominay, if, if McTominay anticipates and does his job, on, that that you get not, not You know what, Flex? Sometimes people give the ball away. I don't, I, I, news flash. Yeah. Sometimes doing, people give the ball away in dangerous stuff, areas. Though. Patrick's give it away. Vieira nah, did mate. it. Vieira did it against bloody Man United. Nah, you're giving him a, you're giving him a pass. He's giving the ball away in a bad position, doing something stupid. You're doing a nutmeg, mate. You're doing a nutmeg. That's like someone trying to do kick ups in that position and give it away. Nutmegging and doing all that kind of stuff is what you do when you're just messing about five aside, trying to express yourself. You're flipping twenty yards outside your box, mate. Don't try and nutmeg someone there. Because if it don't come off, you're gonna get days. it. I don't care whether yeah, you're Fernandez, Pogba, Fred. You can't just give him a pass. He's tried a nutmeg and it didn't work. You're going to get criticised, mate. Simple. Watch this. He tries to pass the ball. Madison. No, he tries to nutmeg Look at McTominay. He He actually goes backwards. Fuck it. Bruno gets closer to the tackle than McTominay. Watch it back. Your your thing's ahead of mine. Your thing's ahead of mine. Watch McTominay. Bruno actually tries to win the ball back and gets closer to the shot than bloody McTominay. Look. Let me have a look. That's shite. That's absolute shit from McTominay, that is. Let me have a look. Absolute joke. Look, Bruno, Bruno shouldn't give the ball away. I accept that. But watch McTominay. He does a little bunny hop and doesn't go near it. If he goes for the ball, it stops it. I don't care what anybody says. All right, let's give Bruno 50% right, of the blame. Hold on, let me see now. Let Maguire got it right. Cool. Right, Bruno's got it. Just, just set Fred. Try to nutmeg. Give it away. Right, cool. That's your fault. Good reaction to get it back. McTominay don't get there. Yeah, they're both to blame. I don't understand what you're going on about. Hold on a minute. Let me watch it back. Bruno, you can see him coming. Just set Fred. You turn, try and nutmeg. Shit. That's shit play from you. Run after it. Try and get it back. Cool. McTominay, not tight enough. Yeah, they're both to blame. McTominay does... Oh, I used to play CDM. You probably never did. McTominay, he does this little thing, right? Barnes has got the ball. He does this stupid thing, which I hate, which is jump on the spot. Go and get the bloody ball. That time where he jumps is half a second. Go and win the ball. He does this whole jockeying shit in this. Don't do that. This is what I mean. I think some people, obviously, they do it because they know it winds me up because I'm wearing a Bruno jumper. And also, we've got these weird people in our fan base who don't like Bruno. So I get that. I don't, I'm not interested in that. But what I would say is, I've played CDM. That ball goes across. Watch Scott McTominay do a little jump on the spot. That's half a second where he could be moving towards the ball. And if he moves towards that ball by half a second, he blocks the shot. You don't jockey somebody who's going to shoot from 30 yards. And look, whether he shoots or not, you still don't jockey him because he might see a little past the Vardy. He's got to go tight. Don't. It's the same as Wan-Bissaka last week against Leeds. He stood off him and he scored. You block, you get it. You've got, this is the Premier League. It's 30 yards out. You've got to go and close the shot down. That's what I'm saying. Mark, you're not wrong for criticising McTominay. I'm not. I need a wee anyway. You carry on. Tell me, talk to me about the right-hand side. Dan James Lindelof. Do you think that's working? Should Twan Sebi have been playing? What changes would you make at half-time? I think you need a wee, mate, because you, you don't want to give Bruno any criticism. Um... <laughs>
I actually think I actually think McTominay's been playing well as well. I just think he showed he just showed a weakness in his game. Mark is just doing that Mark thing where he just loves Bruno so much. He's late and 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 McTominay's annoyed him because he's playing back in that role that he doesn't like to see him play, which is the defensive midfield position, which I kind of agree with. You don't see the best of Scott there. So is he just an easy target? But at the end of the day, Bruno's doing breeze just outside the box, trying to do nutmegs. If Paul Pog was doing a nutmeg outside the edge of the box, you go in mad. If Rashford is doing a nutmeg outside the edge of the box, you go in mad. You're just not going mad because it's Bruno. He's give the ball away. They're both to blame, 100%. Uh, no, 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 bloody no, no. I don't bloody believe it. I don't bloody believe it. I can't believe it. Who's marking Vardy here? You, you bloody prat. Bruno will be fuming here. What a bunch of jokers at the back. What a, I tell you what, let, bottlers, bottlers day, boxing day, bottlers day. Absolute joke. What's happened here? Luke Shaw, what, why I don't understand this. Maguire marking nobody again. Oh, God. That's Bailey, that is. That's bloody Eric Bailey. Another cross comes in that we don't deal with. We're not marking anybody. Bloody hell. It's such a crappy goal. It's absolutely crap. I tell you what, Leicester are the foxes. Foxes hunt chickens. And that back four is cowardly. Bloody cowardly. You do all that work and you can see two crap goals. Cowards FC, chickens, bloody chickens.